guys I'm back I just changed my gamma and it was actually not brightness it was gamma and uh, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of strip mining so I've just tunneled down uh, from the surface to all the way down here and uh, with MCMMO um, you can do these awesome special abilities that you can just slice through uh, gravel sand dirt with excavation so this is why I love faction servers with um, MCMMO because you can just seriously wipe out large areas. You can just go to town, you know, excavate a ton of blocks really fast. Woo! Slicing through this. <laughs> really awesome. And I am. I need to eat really fast. Uh, on this server, I don't think you die if uh, you don't eat. I think you go to one heart, or half a heart. So, I need to get a lot of gunpowder, and this gunpowder is extremely useful. So, um, I can get gunpowder from gravel from MCMMO. So, that's what I'm doing right now, is getting a ton of gravel. There we go. See, I got some gunpowder. That's what we want. And of course, we're gonna need a lot of redstone. A lot of a lot of our defenses require a lot of redstone. And dirt gives us glowstone, which is really awesome. Oh man, I didn't mean for that to break. I wanna save all my tools that get almost damaged all the way, because uh, obviously I can repair that and it can bring my skill up so that's definitely want to do that so I'm gonna reset my home down here and wait where was this okay there it is so we got a lot of blocks this is great this is a good start I want to get the coal so I don't forget gonna need a lot of coal because I like stone bricks a lot they look great so let's go to warp shop and we can uh, buy some beef or something how about that because we are hungry we're so hungry and this shop is really got great really go <laughs> can't talk um, Obviously, we're going to start with plants to sell because that's easy. Maybe work up to a cow spawner or skeleton spawner or zombie spawner, something like that. Let me buy some beef or some pork. There we go. Mm, num, 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 num. All right, let's look at the prices to see which one's the best. All right, 16 for 45, and that's cactus. 16 for 30 so we automatically can make a sugarcane farm that uses pistons maybe on a timer I want to do that so I can have lots of sugar for speed speed two potions and I definitely want to do an automatic cactus farm because that's definitely by far the best in faction servers to get a really great uh, cactus farm that's automatic goes into hoppers and maybe do let's see the prices yeah we could do definitely do a huge pumpkin farm in the beginning 16 for 50 so I'll, I'll do that probably in this episode to start start farming uh, pumpkins and sugarcane I think I already have sugarcane so what can I get rid of I don't really need that. I'm gonna buy a couple of pumpkins I think three will be four will be fine. That's plenty. And I got food, so we're we're set. We are ready. So let's let's keep on checking the prices of stuff. Let's see the spawners. Fifty thousand for a pig. Whew. Sixty for a cow. That's pretty expensive. Seventy five for wolf. 90 for skeleton, 90 for zombie. I like zombie spawners so much better than skeleton. Just because skeletons drop those dang bows. <laughs> you get so many like 
like almost broken bows it just completely messes up your hopper systems 80,000 for a spider spiders are pretty good that's uh that's really expensive 80,000 jeez all right 300,000 for pigmen pigmen are obviously really great Blaze spawners are awesome too. Endermen are not my favorite. And Creeper is by far the best. 300,000. And alright. So, right now I'm just going to keep on mining and stuff and get a ton of iron for pistons, a ton of redstone, and a ton of cobble. And obviously get more wood to make pistons and start working, trying to find a location for our base so that's what I'm going to be doing and I'll get back to you when I found that location alright guys I found this awesome base and it is a massive base I think it's a 3x3 three three base and I'm actually thinking about living here or just using the sugarcane farms until I get a lot of money so I would I mean it's a great idea even though um, you know it's not the most safe place because people still have their home set in the base and stuff but that's really not a problem when you first start out because you really don't have that much stuff so I'm just using it to uh, farm sugarcane and this was basically already here but all I'm doing is fixing it up like there's tons and tons of holes and a lot of this sugarcane wasn't here so I've been replanting and stuff it takes a lot of work but is totally worth it. I even found this uh, lime carpet. It was actually in the base, so I've been using that carpet and uh, just using the sugar cane that was already here. So it's a great, great idea to do this. I wouldn't, you know, I might want to live here, but it's definitely a gamble. But um, actually, I. I've done this several several times and there's ways you can you know change the elevations of the the floors so if people have their home set um, you know they won't be able to spawn or you can have traps I mean there's so many ways you can get by with it or just I don't know putting sand in the room so if they do log in they'll suffocate stuff like that there's a lot of things you can do to actually salvage a base and uh, yeah this is what I like doing because shoot there's already like three walls built a couple sand walls and then a cobble wall so I mean I'm actually saving myself uh, days and days and days of work so instead of you know it's like building a whole new house why build a, no a whole new house when you can remodel one it's a lot I don't know it makes sense to me because I've done it several times and sometimes it doesn't work out sometimes there's so many people that have their home set it just gets completely messy but like I said there's definitely ways you can uh, you know make it work for you as an advantage and uh, yeah I don't know about the nether claims but I will obviously have to go check out and see if those nether claims are claimed um, if not, I mean, there's still ways around that. You can just put all your stuff above Y level, I can't remember, like 160 or something, something way up in the air where they can't nether port, nether raid you. And I'm going to have to fix this big old mess. This is, <laughs> this is definitely a big mess. But, um, I'll show you the base, um... Yeah, I gotta fix a lot of the sugarcane, but I think there's a few levels of sugarcane. So I'm just kind of fixing them. A lot of it's blown up, but this whole level is completely done. That's a massive amount of sugarcane, especially when you first start. In instead of wasting like days building this, I mean this was practically already built. Plus I have walls, so it's pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, there's a spawner system, obviously I'm not going to use the spawner system because uh, there, there would be probably home set up there, but 
all in all it's a great little base it definitely needs a lot of work but it's a you know it's a working project working <laughs> but uh, I'll be back and I'll decide if I want to live here or just use this base for making money so I'll be back